Welcome to this Fit for Good online seated session. Today we will work on the entire body with a combination of exercises targeting your mobility, core, endurance, functional strength and coordination. Enjoy this workout, have fun, exercise within your comfort zone. So the moment you feel out of breath, take extra long break, pause the video, grab yourself a bottle of water, pair of dumbbells and a sturdy chair and let's get into it. Let's warm up, so to activate our joints and muscle groups. You would like to take a nice stance as you are seated. Your knees are at 90 degrees, your tummy is stuck, your chest is up and your shoulders are up, back and down. From here, take a deep breath in and let's start with some nice wide neck circles to warm up our neck first. We'll start with clockwise three big rolls. If you feel dizzy, reduce the amount of repetitions. Let's go. You might feel some slight gentle crack. It's obviously normal. If you feel pain, then stop doing this exercise. I have just changed direction. I'll do about two or three neck rolls slowly and gently. Always come back to the middle and then do and finish that big circle. Let's do some hug swing. So open in a T position and from here I'd like you to squeeze your shoulder blades and give yourself a nice tight hug. Let's do it again. Nice and gently. You don't have to rush. We're warming up back, chest, shoulders and arms. Wonderful. Squeeze and hug. Squeeze shoulder blades, open the chest and give yourself a nice tight hug. Let's repeat for a couple more times. Shoulder blades squeeze and now give yourself a hug and one last time. Wonderful. From here, I'd like you to extend your right arm over your shoulders, over your head and bend your right elbow so that your fingers almost touching your shoulder blades. From here, extend back and relax. The other arm, flex your elbow, try to touch your scapula or shoulder blades and back and down. Let's repeat again. So you extend your arm, you flex your elbow behind your neck and then you extend back and down. Nice straight arm and then nice big elbow flex. Let's repeat two more times and very gently. We're warming up triceps, shoulder and stretching slightly as well. Great, relax. Let's do some side bends. So again, right arm overhead and let's bend to the left and smoothly transition to the right. We are trees in the wind. Gently and smoothly we are transitioning from side to side. Keep your rhythmic breathing. Wonderful. We can do it. Let's do it one more time to each side. I'm leaning to the left and I'm slowly transitioning and leaning to the right, warming up back and oblique muscles. And relax. I'd like you to take a deep breath in and look over your left shoulder as you, your body twists to the same position. So left and you're looking over your left shoulder and transition middle. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you look over your right shoulder, 
on your twist. Let's do it slightly more dynamic. So twist to the left, look over your left shoulder and come back. And again, twist to the right, look over your right shoulder and come back. We'll repeat two more times. Enjoy it. It's a nice twist that comes from your core muscles on your back. Wonderful job. One last time. Great. I'd like you to lean slightly forward from your core and from your, almost you're hinging your hips. From here, open to a T and start pivoting from your lower back. We are making your lower back strong. We are also warming up all these major joints in this area. And breathe and enjoy this movement. Great, we'll do that a few more times. So look to the right and look to the left. You don't have to rush it. Yes, let's do it. One last time and relax. We'll start raising knees along with extending both arms overhead. Let's do it. Great. And it's important to enjoy this range of movement. So nice and slow, not too fast. And yet you are exercising and warming up. So you should feel slight heartbeat raise. Wonderful. Relax. And last, before we end up the warm up, I'd like you to warm up your hamstrings, calf muscles, open those hips even further. So extend your right leg forward, have your left le leg in 90 degrees for balance. From here, I'd like you to try and lean forward and touch your toes with the opposite arm. If you can't reach that far, try to reach your knee. And relax and change. So you extend your left leg forward, you try to reach your toes with your right arm. If not, try to reach your knee. And let's do it a bit more dynamically now. Reach as far as you can and feel the stretch at the back of your thighs, also running down your calf muscle. You're stretching your ankles as well. And because you're leaning forward, hopefully with your straight back, you shouldn't be rounding your back, you are developing that extra flexibility in your lower back and you're opening your hips and you're working your hip flexors. And one last time. Wonderful. It's time to start working on our cardiovascular endurance and core strength with aim of uplifting our mobility. You will perform five exercises. For each exercise, you will have one minute. During this one minute, you will have 10 seconds at the beginning for jogging or marching. And then the rest of the time you can use to complete 10 to 15 repetitions of the exercise. Once you have completed those, you will have the remaining time to that one minute as a break. So you are in charge of how much effort you would like to put in when you're exercising. The faster you perform the repetitions, the more break you will have. The slowly you do that, the less break you will have before we move on to the second, third, fourth and fifth exercise. Now, I will quickly demonstrate all the five exercises. The first one is called Toy Soldiers. Starting position, arms overhead. You will extend one leg forward and try to use the opposite hand to touch toes or knees. So it's performed like this. You will have to do 10 to 15 repetitions. Then we will move on to 
toe touches or heel touches with arm extensions shortly frog jumps so you will touch your heels or toes depending which where you feel comfortable and you will raise your arms overhead so it looks like this if you cannot go all the way down you could just stay to knee level but try to lean slightly forward so that way you will train your lower back and you are also exercising your hips so you've got those two variations then we move on to superman which looks very similar to mountain climbers that we've done before but instead of having your head your hands going this way you will have your hands going this way so extended arm sideways and up overhead with knee raise so that's our superman modification it's important to keep your core tight and allow your tailbone to tuck under in case you start feeling slightly sore lower back and we will move on to the fourth exercise which is torso twist with straight punches we've done this before it is very functional for core strength and also mobility so you're twisting to the left or the right with extended fist punch it's important to breathe throughout and not hold your breath and the last exercise of the series will be butt kicks so we will be just flexing our knees but towards the chair legs try not to hit your leg or heel in the chair if you cannot ex uh, perform this exercise tr this way in a wide stance try to keep your knees closer and still go ahead with the knee flex backwards so it's called hamstring curl to be honest there we go hamstring curl and if you could add some biceps curl so we'll do two curls at the same time butt kicks or hamstring curl with biceps curl okay so this is the overview of the exercises and let's start when i hit the start button there will be one minute for each exercise 10 seconds every time at the beginning of the exercise you will have to spend for jogging let's do it jog or march it's entirely up to you how quickly you will jog or march i'll tell you when the 10 seconds are gone it is time it's time for toy soldiers you have to do 10 to 15 repetitions and then the rest of the time to that one minute you can use for recovery or recovery break great don't follow my tempo follow your own speed great i have completed 10 to 15 and i've got 15 seconds left before i'm due to start exercise number two i'll take a deep breath in hopefully you have completed yours and you have a few seconds left to breathe in and out and get ready for exercise number two three two one let's start with the job every exercise will start with the job for 10 seconds and now it's time for transition to frog jumps or heel touch with overhead arm extension as i said touch your knees if you have to with a slight lean and the faster you do it 10 to 15 repetitions then you will have enough break before the one minute is gone and we need to start exercise number three so here we go i'm a bit slow at the moment and i have completed my 10 to 15 repetitions i only have 10 seconds left before the next exercise is due i hope you have finished before me and you have slightly more time to relax 
Take a deep breath in and let's get ready. Three, two, one, jog. And I'm looking at the timer. Three, two, one, transitions to Superman. High knee raises with arm swings overhead. When you complete your 10 to 15 repetitions, have a break and I'll let you know when it's time to start the next exercise. We got it. Let's get moving. Wonderful. I completed 10 to 15 repetitions and I've got 15 seconds left to relax. I hope you're enjoying it. You've got five more seconds. Hopefully you have these five seconds left for recovery before the next exercise. It's time. Three, two, one. Let's start with the jog. Three, two, one. Torso twists. 10 to 15 repetitions. This is the time to earn longer break. And I've, I'm done. Hopefully you too. And now we've got 30 seconds recovery period. This is a good breather, isn't it? Because you've got a little extra time to relax and decrease that intensity that has been built up. So then the last exercise is butt kicks. So what we'll do, we'll narrow or we'll bring our knees closer so that we don't hit the chair legs and we'll start curling and biceps curling as well. Three, two, one. We start with the jog, 10 seconds. I'm keeping an eye on the timer. Come on, three, two, one. Transition. So hamstring curls with biceps curls. Give me 10 to 15 and then relax. And I'm done. Hopefully you have completed your 10 to 15 repetitions and you're ready to relax. We have completed the cardiovascular workout. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have rehydrated, you had a tiny little pause and you're ready to come back to the workout. It's time for resistance training, which is based today on complex compound exercises for upper and lower body. We have got six exercises to go through in a circuit style. Each one can be performed for minimum of 15, maximum of 20 repetitions. We'll have a minimal break in between whilst I'm going to demonstrate and talk to you through the exercise technical points. So we'll begin with knee raise to shoulder press. The way this is done is we're raising our knee and we have got our dumbbells or weights or cans or tins, whichever you've got at shoulder level. From here, you would like to press your shoulders, your arms over and bring them down. So as you press up, your knee raises and as you lower your arms, your knee raises down. So have a look. This is how it should look. Knee raise with overhead shoulder press. The most important here is to have your core tight, to bring your shoulder, your dumbbells at shoulder level and when you squeeze to shoulder pre press, not to shrug your shoulders but to actually extend your arms like this. And you also would like your weights to run parallel to your ears. If you cannot achieve that alignment and at the moment your dumbbells 
are running slightly in front of your head, in front of your ear alignment, then that is fine. We will be building up with a bit more stretching in for this area, which is the shoulder area and the rotator cuff area. So let's do 15 to 20 repetitions of knee raise to shoulder press. Starting position, inhale and as you exhale, you lift arms and knee. You are in charge of the tempo, do it at your own speed. You have no one to compete against but yourself. You're building strength in your quadriceps, hips, lower back and shoulders and upper back. Wonderful. Breathe in and out rhythmically and if you feel slight burn, that is normal. The burn in the muscles mean you are working out. However, if you feel pain, you should not perform this exercise. Wonderful. I have completed 15 to 20 repetitions and I can give myself a nice shake. Hopefully you too. Please have a look at exercise number two. It's called deadlift with pelvic tuck. The way we will do the, the deadlift will be gliding or sliding your dumbbells or, or cans of beans in my case, along my hips and all the way down until I reach my toes. Then I come back up slowly. And as I am up, I would like to tuck my pelvis forward and release the position. I will show you from this angle. It looks like this. So slight opening in your knee. From here, you would like to take a deep breath in, starting position. As you exhale, you lean down. Try to have your back straight. If your back is like this, that means you're not ready to go that far down. So try to reach a position where your back stays straight and then come back up. As you come back up, lean slightly back and give me a nice tuck that comes from your pelvis. It looks like this. I'll stand up and show you from here. So it looks like this. Good. Let's do it. 10 to 15 repetitions or the best will be 15 to 20 depending on your ability. We are developing functional strength in our lower back and we are stretching at the same time our hip flexors and the fact you're doing a pelvic tilt at the end is even more beneficial for your pelvic floor muscle. Now let's do it. Take a deep breath in. This is the starting position and from here lean forward, reach your toes or heels or just to shin level and come back up. As you reach the top you would like to lean further back and give me a nice pelvic tuck. Come back to upright position, take a deep breath in, glide those dumbbells down, make sure that your back stays straight, lean back and give me a nice pelvic tuck. Come back and lean. Let's do it nice and slowly. Pelvic tuck and release. Take a deep breath in. Glide those dumbbells down to toes level, so heels with straight back. Come back up, lean slightly back and give me a nice sharp pelvic tuck. When you do the pelvic tuck, imagine like one of my colleagues used to say, imagine you have a coin in between your butt cheeks and you're trying to squeeze it and release. Let's repeat about five more times and we're nearly there. 
we are building strength and mobility in lower back we are strengthening our pelvic floor muscles and also that very important hip flexor is being exercised again it's important when you lean forward gliding your dumbbells down to have your back straight and relax one last time I hope you have completed at the least 15 repetitions of these and you're ready to carry on it's time for side bends we're gonna be working on our oblique muscles that is quite traditional exercise it's important to have a nice stance so seat with an upright back with tight core contract those muscles bring your arms to the side of the chair and from here lean to the side feeling the contracted core muscles mainly abdominal muscles and the side bends will come from your obliques so that when you side bend you don't lean forward like this but you side bend okay let's do it i'm sure you're ready and take a deep breath in and bend to the side You can easily do 50 or 15 or 20 repetitions of these. Again, it's important to feel how tight your abdominal muscles are. So they should stay contracted at all times. And you only bend to the side from your oblique muscles. Wonderful job. I'll do another five to make sure. I breathe rhythmically, don't hold your breath and relax. The next exercise is hip openers. So when we do the hip openers, you would like to either, I'm demonstrating whilst you're having your break, please feel free to have a pause or if you want, have a sip of water. So the hip openers, are either exercised by gliding your hips outwards so we are gliding the foot and we are opening the hip or the high intensity version will be by actually opening the hips with foot in the air like this now this exercise will be done also accompanied with something for upper body and that is called upright row so you will have your dumbbells near your tummy from here i'd like you to glide your dumbbells along your chest and allow your elbows to be pointed over your shoulder level i know it sounds a little bit funny try to do it for a few times so you get the hang of it it is a bit strange exercise however that builds such an important and functional strength in your upper back and towards the neck as well as well as mobility in your shoulders so i will show you in combination as you glide your left your your leg to the right you would like to open and point your elbows up so you're upright throwing upright rowing like so as you open your hips if it's not easy for you to coordinate both or you're feeling that a bit awkward stick to the upright row so let's begin 10 to 15 repetitions will be fine i will aim for about 15 to 20 to build more intensity and more strength let's do it Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring those dumbbells up to shoulder level and your leg out, out to the side. You could sit towards the edge of the chair to make this exercise work. It is wonderful because you are not only using your
your hip flexors, you're also using your inside of the thigh muscle. Your adductors and abductors are working as well as your shoulder and back. It can be quite intense if you're using slightly heavier weights than mine. So don't worry about doing more than 15 in this case. Wonderful. I'll do just three more to make sure. I hope you're breathing rhythmically. And relax. Give your shoulders a little shake. Have a sip of water if you need to. And please watch what's coming next. And the, the fourth exercise, sorry, the fifth exercise is calf raises. We'll do the calf raises like so and we could add some biceps curl to this so calf raises with biceps curl like so we know how to do the biceps curl you would like to have your elbows stuck neatly to your sides and from here with nice controlled movement we move the dumbbells to shoulder level and back down try not to overextend your elbow so not to go down and don't allow the gravity to drop and pull your dumbbell down the calf muscle or the calf raises will be exercising your calf and ankle mobility as well so they're performed like this try to put as much weight on your toes as possible let's do 15 to 20 repetitions starting position is here elbows tuck tightly take a deep breath and as you raise your dumbbells to shoulder level, also raise your heels up. Have your core tight and chest upright and enjoy. You don't have to do it fast. It's important to complete each and every repetition at quality form. So the form or the technical quality of exercising is more important then how many repetitions you do the the correctly we do it the more benefits we reap from performing this exercise great we are building strength in our calf muscles we are in we are building mobility in our ankles and of course with the biceps curls we are targeting biceps and forearm and two more for me to complete about 20 and i'll relax hopefully you have completed 15 to 20 as well you're ready to complete the resistance training with just one more exercise and that is russian twists the way they are performed you would like to have your core tight and contract your muscles as you exhale from this position your dumbbells are here so this is the starting position i'd like then to turn towards my hip left and right in a nice smooth movement throughout this exercise i try to keep my core muscles tight and I'm using my middle back to turn rather than swing my arms. So my, I'm using my middle back or my torso. It's more like a torso twist, hip and towards the hip rather than arm swinging. Okay, let's do it. Take a nice stance. So knees at 90 degrees, tummy stuck chest is upright, dumbbells are at tummy level. From here, take a deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, tighten the core muscles and start twisting left and right. Aim at about 20 repetitions. They are easily achievable. This is building strength in your core, oblique muscles. You are increasing your mobility as well. Breathe. 
If you feel burning your abdominal muscles, that's great. You also should feel slight tension in your oblique muscles. Wonderful job. We are nearly there. I'll do three, two, one, and finished. Well done. We are nearly there. We will end the session with a gentle stretching routine. We will increase the range of movement, especially in our upper body, and stretch these legs to remove the tension that has been built up throughout the workout so far. Let's begin with a couple of deep breaths in and out. Now I'd like you to take a deep breath in and extend your arms in front of your chest, straight arms. From here, pull one shoulder back with pointing elbow behind your back. As you pull an arrow, hold for a couple of seconds and change arms. Sideways, it looks like this. We are extending the range of movement in your rotator cuffs as well as stretching chest and shoulders. It's a dynamic stretch and let's complete that by pointing our arrows upwards. Nice, soft, gentle movement upwards. Feel the stretch actually now running also in your arm and reaching your fingers. Try to look up and see your fingertips very gently and relax. From here, I'd like you to open into a T position and start swaying to the left and right, but holding as you bend to the side for a couple of seconds, come back to the middle, taking deep breath in and exhaling to the side. And let's do that a few more times. We are stretching the obliques and back as well as arms. and come back to the middle and relax. From here, I'd like you to stretch right arm overhead and both elbows now will flex behind your neck and back. So you're trying to reach your fingertips. We're stretching triceps and increasing the range of movement in our shoulders. It's good for your triceps and shoulders. And change hands. Flex elbows between neck and back. Try to reach fingers. Hold for a few seconds and change. Wonderful. It feels great. And relax. From here, I'd like you to open your arms up over your head in a Y, letter Y position and now slowly try to bring your elbows down to reach your sides, forming letter W. Relax your shoulders so that you allow them to set correctly, which is backwards, not forwards. So you're trying to push also your palms to the side and ease off into a Y position. Take a deep breath in, we'll repeat one more time. Your elbows run slowly down to waist level into a Y position. Ease off your shoulders and try to squeeze your shoulder blades so that you pull your shoulders back and ease 
off. Relax. Now I'd like you to put your palms on your waist and try to bring your elbows together as close as possible so that we open the chest. I'll show you from behind. It's called an F position. So let's do it again. Put your palms on your waist, open your shoulders, relax them down, don't squeeze them, don't shrug them. And from here, squeeze your elbows together, hold this position for five to 10 seconds. And relax. Now we will work slightly more on our spine and back. Please lean forward and allow your arms to reach your toes. If that's too easy for you, allow your palms to reach the floor. You are opening your hips and you are stretching your spine and lower back. Come back up very slowly and gently. Take a deep breath in and lean forward as you exhale and press your palms against the floor and come back up very slowly now we would like to extend your right leg forward and as you do this you would like to lean forward with the same arm trying to point towards your toes, reach those toes and try to feel the stretch running in your hamstrings. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Breathe rhythmically and come back up gently. Let's do this with the opposite leg. So we'll stretch the hamstrings. Left leg is forward. Your toes, your toes are pointing upwards with the left arm. You're trying to touch your toes. Balance with your right arm and try to press forward, lean forward. Feeling the stretch in your hamstrings and calf muscles. Hold that position for a few seconds and ease off. Now I'd like you to try and place your right foot just over your left knee and lean slightly forward. It's not a big range of movement but it's just enough to give you that necessary flexibility in the hip flexors. For those of you with problems in your hips you might find this exercise painful so if you do please don't do the stretch and is it off let's do with the same with the left foot over your right knee if you can't go for that far up place your foot on your shin from here, take a deep breath in and ease off forward gently. And come back up. And now let's take care of our quadriceps. I'd like you to raise your knee, grab hold of it and bring your knee as close as possible to your chest. Allow your tailbone to tuck and hold. You are stretching your glutes and you are also stretching your quadriceps and ease off take a deep breath in bring your left knee up to your chest level squeeze it with your arms as close as possible you're feeling a stretch in your glutes and in your quadriceps and relax Take a few deep breaths in and out. Well done. You have completed this, the 
session. Give yourself a big round of applause. I truly hope you have enjoyed it and you find it useful. Please leave your comments. It's always a pleasure to read your feedback. Why not subscribe to our Fit for Good channel? We also have a wonderful website where you can find lots of advice and good tips as well as all the sessions. Stay well, keep well, keep exercising and I will see you next time.